Home Values, Real Estate Blog, Should I Have an Open House? Realtor and area specialist Mike and Jennifer Wrigley here bringing you the latest real estate information. Thanks for joining us. Today, let's talk about whether or not you should have an open house when listing your property. Now, once again, the answer to this, as many other real estate questions, is going to hinge on the type of market you're in and what is customary for your area. Generally speaking, only about 1% of homes actually sell at the open house. In a strong seller's market, an open house is usually not as effective because with limited inventory, you're likely to get multiple offers regardless. Now, what we do recommend is holding the property open on a limited basis for realtors and their clients only. This is not a public open house, but a set of scheduled showing times where the realtors can come without calling first. This does a couple things for you. In a tight real estate market, it's not uncommon to have 15, 20, or even more offers on a single property. With the predetermined showing times, you can avoid having to interrupt your day answering the realtor calls and setting showing times. You get it all done in a, in a number of predetermined showings. Real convenient for you as the seller. In a balanced or buyer's market, we suggest holding the home open at least once in the first 30 days. Your property will be considered the most desirable during that time and being new on the market will bring in buyers and agents interested in buying in your area. As you only get one chance to make a, a good first impression, it's imperative to have the property priced right at the same time. No number of open houses or degree of marketing will sell an overpriced property. For other tips on how to get the most for your home in the least amount of time and the least amount of hassle, log on to www.wrigleyrealtygroup.com or give us a call at 916-396-7487. We'll look forward to hearing from you.